I'm, I'm just waiting. Uh, for sure, before a race, you are re always so focused and try to be in the zone. But now everything is a bit lost, you know, because we are just waiting, waiting, waiting. We don't know what to do. And maybe we go out, maybe we go in, maybe we cannot go. It's a pity. And also, I'm, I would like to, to race in a normal condition, with wet, but normal condition, because I would like to try the Moda GP bike on rain. But at the moment, it seems a bit, uh, a bit too much, let's say. Fabio, I imagine the team have and Ducati have so much experience in the wet, they just put a setting that they tell you will work. Do you have any input on how you want the setting or you just trust them and go ride it? Well, for sure we start from uh, our base setup of the dry and we do the, all the um, uh, modifings, mod modifyings for the, for the wet. But uh, honestly, I don't have any feedbacks. Uh, also then said say to me, uh, go out and enjoy because we, we don't know anything. So also for me, it will be the, my first time and uh, yeah, I'm waiting. Fabio, thank you for your time. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you, thank you. Scenes you didn't expect to see at 3.15 on race day Sunday at the Indonesian Grand Prix. The uh, entire pit lane is uh, <laughs> this lady in audience here well to be honest let's hope this works apparently this is a a local rain ritual desperate Try times and all that. away these clouds let's hope this lady's efforts pay off because we all want to skew well i'd like to hear what that was like you know putting that lab together and what it's like sitting here about to go out in a wet race soon and you've never ri ridden in full wet so tell us about those things well i was so happy about yesterday because uh, from qatar we did a great step on the setup on the of the bike and uh, i was really uh, confident especially on the front so i could push really hard on the especially in the, in the qualifying for time attack uh, honestly in q2 i was not uh, like, let's say 100 percent because i did the fp3 fp4 q1 also in q2 so it was a bit tired honestly uh, for this also, I couldn't reply the 31.6 of the Q1, but yeah, it was a great lap, honestly. I was super happy about that. And uh, yeah, I'm here waiting. Uh, honestly, it's a pity that we, at the moment, we cannot race because the... the That's a little bit of a red face moment for our pole man and our reigning world champion. Now, this lady is doing some sterling work now. She's been out on the grid. She is trying to banish away this rain. We sincerely hope it does work as Fabio Quattro makes his first mistake of the weekend, dropping his ice cream tub. Let's hope it's the only mistake he makes of the weekend as well. Nothing that the riders and the teams can do, of course. All they can do is wait patiently and hope that we do get a break in this torrential rain. Pre-race, it was looking very, very good for Ducati. They had two bikes on the front row. Four bikes are qualified in the top six, including round one winner, and they are Bastien. And we've already heard the thoughts of the Cattie Lenovo rider, Jack Miller. Let's pop back down to Simon, who's got sporting director.